So do the bears know how strong they are? The bears definitely know how powerful they are, but I think they forget how fragile I can be. And that's part of the reason why I don't go in with the brown bears. They like to play rough, and I don't need them ending me on accident. All right, so this is how me and some of my animals greet each other. Hi. Hey, Hoss, how's it going? You doing good? Hey, Jimmy, my man. Whoa, hey, whoa, whoa. Oh yeah, you get it, buddy. Oh, buddy, what are you doing? Oh, big stretch. Big stretch. Here's how some of our animals beat the heat. Hoss's giant horns work like radiators to help cool off his blood. And since Sandman here's a camel, it's gotta be pretty hot for him to complain. And of course, all of our bears love spending time in their pools. But is it actually hot out, or is it just Jimmy burning up that dance floor? Offering the animals an apple or doubling it and giving it to someone else. Do you want this apple or should I double it and give it to somebody else? Oh, okay. Here we go, Gambit. Want an apple or should I double it and give it to someone else? Oh, oh. Hey, Sandman, you want this apple or should I double it and give it to... Oh. With horns this big, how does Hoss hold his head up? Well, Watuzis have very strong necks and extra shoulder muscles to help compensate. And while these horns may seem pretty big, they're actually mostly hollow. And that's why Watuzi horns are so big. That's how they regulate body temperature. <laughs> so are bears ticklish? While these forbidden forest clothes do enjoy good armpit scratching, they don't seem to show any signs of being ticklish. You usually will just see that in animals like primates. So why don't I make videos like this with the brown bears? One of the main reasons is, I didn't raise these guys. They were rescued as adults. But you know, even though I don't go in with them, I still make sure they get plenty of treats <laughs> and all the back scratches that they could want. <laughs>